Then we have the forming a wireless geodetication attack in a wireless network using a Kali Linux virtual machine connected with a wireless adapter to the same network as the host Windows um, machine. So first thing I'm going to do is pull up my interface, um, my IP configuration. With, I pull up my terminal, use the command if configure, if, if config to pull up the IP configuration. And I can see this system has two interfaces, the Ethernet interface and the wireless interface. So for this attack to work, I'm going to turn off the Ethernet interface for the attack to work properly. So I use the command if configuration, if config Ethernet zero down to turn off the Ethernet interface. And I'm, I'll um, confirm that it is turned off. And it, you can see now only the wireless interface is turned off. So next thing I'm going, I'm going to do is change the mode of the, make sure the mode of the wireless um, interface is set to monitor. Now it's on manage. So I'm going to change it to monitor. First of all, kill all wireless processes with that command. And I switch the mode from from manage to monitor with the command iw config interface um specify the interface and change the mode to monitor so now i'm going to confirm that it is set it is set that way and now i can go ahead and carry on and and, and um, perform the attack so first thing i'm going to do is on my wireless interface scan for available um, networks on and what I'm going to do is specify the band because I know the the band I'm searching for is the 5G so I specify with the A and um, search so now I can see different networks that my wireless adapter can pick pick up pick up that's my external wireless adapter and you can see and now we, we can we have found the network we are looking for which is uh, gem telecom 042905G. So what we need is a BSSID of the network, which is basically the MAC address of the router. And um, now we can use Aerodump AG, specify the BSSID. And also the channel as well. You can see it is on channel 53. And um, we, to search specifically, what we want to do is search specifically on that um, network rather than scanning for just any available network. So we specify the channel and finally we specify the interface, which is W10. Now we can see the um, specific network. It's scanning specifically on that network. We can see devices present on that network. You can see, you can see from race station, that is the station um, MAC addresses. Those are the MAC addresses of different devices of, on the network. So now we leave it to scan for a bit. And the next thing we'll do is to um, Locate which one is our intended target, and um, so we can we can attack the target. So now we have three dev devices. We're going to check on the target network just to confirm which of them is the target target device. Sorry, which of them is the target device, and so we can attack it. So we look on the target device IP. We check the um, configuration to get the, the MAC address of the wireless interface on the target device. You can also get this uh, on, in a normal setting by sniffing packets. But since this is just a, a tutorial, we can get this from directly from the device. So we have confirmed that the target device is the 9C FC F8 45D2 D3. So what we do is we we um, use the command air replay geotification 10,000. Specify the MAC address of um, specify the address of the router and also the MAC address of the client. This what this command does is basically you, we impersonate the router and send the authentication packets to the client continuously. So the packet is the MAC, the, the it loses connection and it's also not able to reconnect because we keep on sending the authentication packets. So now you can see the client is still connected before we send the packets. So now we're gonna send the packets 
and you can see it has started sending the student education packets. It will give it a little of a, a little time. Um, and we're still monitoring. And um, just a few seconds, just in a few seconds, we can see now the client has lost connection. It's trying to reconnect, but it's unable to reconnect to the um, to the network. Yeah, so we can finally go check on the victim just to confirm that the network is um, the internet. There's no internet um, connectivity, and we try to access Google.com and we see that there's no internet connectivity on the victim as long as we're sending the packet. So this attack has different uses. You can use it for a denial of service attack. You could also use it to be able to um, stop a vict uh, the victim from connecting temporarily. And when the victim reconnects, you monitor for the handshake and capture the handshake, which can be useful for a bunch of different attacks, such as retrieving the password of the network. So now we just confirm that the connection is back as we stop the attack and connection is back to the victim. So thanks for watching.